distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm making my way now uh, to, for us to hear from Her Excellency Ms. Adida Sombila, the Under Secretary for Regional of the Regional Development Group at the National Economic and Development Authority of the Philippines. Madam, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Moderator. On behalf of the Philippine delegation, let me convey my gratitude for allowing me to speak in this dialogue and contribute to the meaningful and relevant discussion. Our session today is about interventions and measures to achieve an accelerated recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic and to quickly reverse its possible long-term long scarring effect on the economies. An unprecedented crisis demands unprecedented recovery. These efforts, nonetheless, should not only prepare us, people and communities, to recover and build back better from the pandemic, but also to other compounding risks, including those resulting from climate change and other natural resources, natural disasters. These efforts should be more holistic, inclusive, and sustainable to ensure durability of resilience. When the pandemic struck the Philippines, the country has already put in place solid reforms and macroeconomic fundamentals that provided assistance to the most vulnerable groups, formulated plans and strategies translated into actions to contain the spread of the virus and to facilitate the safe opening of the economy. This included the updating of our Philippine Development Plan to include strategies that address current vulnerabilities, strengthen health systems, and build up resilience. The Philippine economic growth rate of 8.3% in the first quarter of 2022 was a testimony that our strategies and interventions have all been in the right direction. These encouraging results do not make us complacent, not only because the virus is still very much in our midst, but also because of the country's vulnerability to other natural hazards. We continue to observe the minimum health protocols as we push for greener post-COVID recovery strategies embedded in our Philippine Action Plan for sustainable consumption and production towards a more circular economy. The Philippines, however, is doing its share to overcome the root causes of pandemics and natural disasters. But we are just a small country in this planet Earth. We will, not yield the needed, we will not yield the needed strong impact to safeguard it from further harm. We will need to work collectively to implement the numerical measures that we are hearing in this session and that reverberate in several numerous meetings. We should not waste time to concur the risks for the prosperity of all. Thank you and good morning again to everyone. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.